would be about the second type of classification of system that is time variant system and time invariant system. If the response of a system for a particular input is independent of the time at which the input is applied, that means the output remains same irrespective of the time, then it is called as time invariant system. If the system responds towards a particular input, changes with the time at which the input is applied, then it is called as a time variant system. Suppose we have an input signal xt, which when applied to the system, gives the output as yt. If this input signal is delayed by a certain amount of time, and that is by t naught, then the output that we should get should also be delayed by the same amount of time. If this is happening, that the delay in the input signal is producing the same amount of delay in the output signal, then that is called as a time invariant system. If we are getting the result as something else, then it is time variant system. To understand this in a better manner, let us do some examples. So the first example that I have is a system which is producing yt as the output and yt is equal to x squared t. This system can be written as xt when it is passing through the system it is becoming equal to x squared t which is then equal to yt. Now let us apply some delay in the input signal so I am transforming t to t minus t naught. So where I have t in this equation then I will be replacing it with t minus t naught. So where I have t in this equation I have written it as x t minus t naught. In the resulting it should have been x squared t but since we are producing some delay and t is getting replaced with t minus t naught therefore the output that we will be getting will be x squared t minus t naught. So x squared t minus t naught can be written as y t minus t naught. So what we observe here is when we are introducing some delay in the input signal, same amount of delay we are getting in the output signal. Therefore this kind of a system is time invariant system. The second example that I have taken is a system with response y t is equal to x minus t. That means it is producing time reversal. So it can also be written as when xt passes through the system, it becomes x of minus t, which is then equal to yt. Now on this signal, when I introduce some delay in, at the input side, that means when t is getting transformed to t minus t naught. So at the place where we had t, I will be now substituting t minus t naught. So this will be then xt minus t naught at the input side. When it passes through the system, x same as it was earlier minus sign also and at the place where t was there I'll write t minus t naught so when I'm substituting t minus t naught and I'm opening up this bracket it is then coming up to be x of minus t plus t naught and this is not something that is equal to y of t minus t naught since the time delay that we are introducing at the input side is not getting reflected as it is at the output side Therefore, this kind of a system is a system which is time variant system. With these examples, I hope you would have understood how to check whether the system is time variant or time invariant. Now, after knowing time invariant and variant systems and also linear and non-linear systems, there is one more type of categorization of systems that is possible depending upon these factors and they are Linear time invariant system, linear time variant system, non-linear time invariant system and non-linear time variant system. Out of all these systems, the most simplest and the most important with respect to the subject signals in system, the classification is linear time invariant system. So all the systems that we will be dealing henceforth will be linear time invariant systems only.